Welcome everyone, this is Juvik Gurvik, and in this video we will check out the GDMU firmware update. Let's check it out. Here's my folders, and the first one, well, nothing. The second one, there is Bleem Beta CDI image, and the third one, the Crash Team Racing PlayStation image. The fourth one is official Blam Metal Gear Solid version. And in the last one, there's a Metal Gear Solid PlayStation image. First, let's check out how the stock firmware handles those fucking images. Let's place the SD card inside the GDMU unit, which is fucking, fucking hard, even for me. The devil. Now let's turn on the console and see what exactly the stock firmware does. First of all, we gotta select the second folder by pressing the button. Now blame beta is loaded and we shall see how it acts using the stock firmware as you can see it blinks like it should now we want to change the CD image to PlayStation game nothing happens even if I press all the buttons nothing Let's try it out. The second Bleem. The official retail version of Bleemcast for Metal Gear Solid. Let's press the button three times this time. And here it is. The retail Bleemcast for Metal Gear Solid. So far, so good. Well, the console keeps on rebooting itself. Bummer. Okay, let's turn this off and let's download the new firmware version for the GDMU okay here's my SD card and here's the official side of the GDMU here it is and uh, we gotta click here updating firmware here's the info the old one is 5.2.0 and the new one is 5.4.0 Fuck yeah! Let's download this bad boy. Save it to your desktop. Yeah. Here's the package. Let's see what's inside. Only one file. Only one. Okay. According to the info, we gotta copy that file to the root of the SD card. Like this, and we gotta rename it. Delete some of the name. Like this. And we are good. Now, let's take out our SD card. And the second thing you need to do is to flip the 
thing on the side to the lock position. Like this. Let's put it inside one more time. God damn it. One more try. Fuck yeah! Success! Now I gotta adjust the light so you can see everything. There's a small LED in the left corner, which should blink when we power on the console. Fast blinking means that the firmware is being updated. And now the process is over. As you can see, the blinking slowed down. There's nothing going on. The console just froze. Let's turn it off. Now we gotta switch back the the thing on the side to the normal position. And we gotta delete the update file from the root. The GDMU dot F W. Yeah, let's delete that one and uh, Let's put the SD card inside again. Maybe this time it will be less hassle. Yeah, fuck yeah, for the first time. Let's turn on the console. Now we gotta click once to select the Bleem Beta. And let's see how it works. Yeah, it's flashing, like it should. Now, let's change the image to the PlayStation game. Whoa. I kind of hear something, but no image. What the fuck? Maybe if I press something, I don't know. Okay, here it is. This is fucking awesome game. Especially for four-player party time. Fuck yeah. Let's try out the adventure mode. Fuck, this music is kind of crappy. I don't know what's going on. A -a 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 -a. Yeah, that's my name. Warning, uh, whatever. Okay, as you can see, Welcome it's working. Shitty, but it's working. Practice your driving skills. The dots and stars from the map now. Pads, which let's try the retail version of Blamecast. I gotta press three times the button. Two and three. The last time, the Blamecast forced the console to reboot itself. Let's check out how it act this time. Well, it did not reboot the console. But, uh... 
kind of froze. Well, maybe I can press some buttons, I don't know. Maybe it will do something or not. Well, I guess it's frozen. Got past the rebooting problem, but still not working. Nope. Nothing. Well, I guess that's all. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.